Today's video is going to be my childhood memory in Taiwan, the city that I grew up in. So basically, it will be like places I visited when I was young and also food that I would eat. I will start with dim sum. Something that you need to notice that dim sum, even though dim sum is like a breakfast, but we don't usually eat dim sum during the regular breakfast time. Usually, it starts like a brunch time. So right now is... 11.30 and we didn't even start yet so yeah Right now every store that you visit you have to like scan to order Let's see what I'm gonna order <laughs> This is my favorite dumpling when I was a child. <laughs> It is 2.04 I mean like we finished having dim sum around 1.30 And now I'm finally on my way to back to like my old apartment This is like the old area in the city um, Yeah, it looks pretty poor to be honest I never feel poor when I was a child because my mom and dad provide me the best love they like made me feel like we are rich but we are actually like really really poor as you can see from the building here as you can see like this is the old apartments that we live in that one right there that is the building so when I was young whenever I hear the motorcycle sound I know that my dad is coming back home we used to live on the third floor one two three what well, up there and that one that window is the bathroom so whenever i go inside the bathroom i hear the <laughs> um, 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 sound. <laughs> and that is my dad coming back home yeah then i will run into the bathroom and tell my mom that daddy is coming back home yeah. i feel like my dad is doing that on purpose to let me know that he's coming back home it's all broken right now that's the balcony the really old one <laughs> that's the oldest balcony 
in the area and that is my apartment. As I say, I never feel that we are living in such poor area until I grew up. The life experience that mom and dad give me is like feel like I'm very rich. For example, if mommy made 700 per month, she is using 600 on me per month. So I never feel that we are poor. But like really like looking back, this is really, really old. And yeah. So it really doesn't matter like how much money that you are making or like how much money that you are having as long as mom and dad is providing me the best love and care I feel like we are really rich from the inside and that is like most important for me I feel like I always have someone to like being supportive and <laughs> yeah I feel supportive with my mom and dad so I never feel that we are poor when I was young but as I grow older, I noticed that like how much money that mom and dad spend on me even though they don't have much left. Oh my god, I feel like crying. Yeah, that is my apartment that I grew up in as a child. Now let's go to other places that I love to visit when I was a child. And yeah, let's go. so many old trees in the area that I grew up in they are so huge and the water is like always green I came here very often when I was young I usually walk around after dinner After you catch the shrimp, and you can come get like barbecue over there. It's quite environmental right now. This is the palm. You can imagine baby Amy. You can imagine little Amy standing here, catching, fishing. Daddy's right here. Mommy's right here. And then the cooking barbecue area is right here. <laughs> this video is 100% about imagination. Just imagine everything that I say. <laughs> so mommy said she wanted to take a photo with me over there. That photo was taken the Chinese New Year before we immigrated. Yeah, it was 2007, the Chinese New Year. So now we're going to take another one today over there. This is the one. McDonald's when I was young. I usually go up there to like get ketchup because mommy don't let me eat McDonald's that often so I usually just go up there and ask the lady, ask the staff to like can I get ketchup and they will usually offer me a ketchup and then like I just eat the pack of ketchup on my way home <laughs> and that is my childhood memory with McDonald's the most. It used to be an elevator but it seems like it's a stair right now. We are still full from the dim sum. We will get something to eat later. Yeah, let's continue walking. Walk, walk, walk. Hey, I'm back for one. Sandu Lilk. Lia Samsa, Lia Samsa. Come down. Oh, 
未熬系咪啊？等等紧啦，系啦，等等紧啦，系。啊 ，my dessert。No。No my dessert。好，见到啦，鸡蛋糕啊，见到啦，见到啦，见到啦，富人糕啊。好。啊。行路登过啦啦。It's over there. That one. Oh god. You you want for long go? Can I hear? Ah. This is my favorite when I was young. It's really refreshing, especially during the summer time. Mm. It's some kind of Chinese medicine. When I was young, we usually buy a basket of it and go back home. When I was young, it was like a red basket, but now it seems like a clear basket. Thì là hai hồn sẽ có hồn 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 So I gotta finish the whole book by myself Cheers. Cheers. We are now on our way to Xiao Nian Gong. Xiao Nian Gong, meaning a talent school where for children, young children or adolescents to learn all kinds of talents. I learned ballet, singing, drawing, art, piano, also Chinese calligraphy there when I was young. So here are some photos. Every weekend when I am back in the city, after we ate dim sum, mommy will brought me to this place to have all different kinds of talent classes. I mean, yeah, I was pretty proud when I was young to learn so many talents, but at that time, I don't like her. I feel like why I have to take extra classes during the weekend? Um, even though I can say that I enjoy it sometimes, but I don't enjoy it when she asks me to like practice piano. That is the classroom that I have art class and that is Chinese calligraphy and up there is the piano class and singing class is somewhere over there and also ballet ballet dancing class is during this in this building However, they are not allowed people to walk inside so we are not allowed to go in and there's no classes today so I don't think they are really open today so let's go to our next destination which is the hospital that I was born Gugu Taizan Tourist Company when I was young this is the place that I enjoy the most I would take all those like reference travel reference let me go inside and show you guys I would take a lot of these kinds of paper when I was young when mommy is asking about travel places I mean I just enjoy reading those probably that's why I am like vlogging right now and she loves travel right now I can read those kinds of paper for hours and hours I will like brought them home and read it like really seriously closely reading on those probably that's why I'm so good at planning for travel right now I mean, it's such a skill that I built up when I was a child. Is it mommy? Yes, of course. <laughs> You're a good planner. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Very good. You are born in this hospital. I know. Are you I remember? born here. Uh, of course, I don't remember when I was born, but <laughs> I remember every time I'm really sick, this is the place that I have to visit. 
So this is the place that I was born. I got my, like I came here when I got burned and I came here when I was having high fever. Also, this is the place that I got my eyes eye check. And that's the time that mom noticed that I need to wear glasses. And she is really, really, really mad at me. She was like, oh, I don't want you as my daughter. My daughter shouldn't be like wearing glasses because my mom and dad is have perfect eyesight and they don't wear glasses. <laughs> so when she yeah. first noticed that I have to wear glasses, she's really sad because I did not watch TV until like three years old. So she don't understand why I need to wear glasses. But when I got this news, I am very, very angry. Yes. She's very really angry. <laughs> she wants to like dump me. Like on this street, she wants to dump me there. And I just follow her because I know that my mom loves me. So I know that she will not dump me. And I just follow her and like pulling her shirt. She, she I don't want me. Leave that my She was like, put her head right here. She's like kind of like letting me to hold her. But I didn't hold her finger. Yeah. I just hold her shirt. Don't hold me. You didn't say that. But anyway. I know she loved me, right? Yeah, I love you too. No, I, I say that you love me. <laughs> I love you too. And the next place is shopping. Because during the weekend, every weekend, we usually like shop until night time. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also last but not least, last destination is gonna be Taishan Car Station. That is like the main station for buses because during the weekends we live in a small town as you can see from my last video and during the I mean during the weekday we live in a small town and during the weekend we came back up to the city that's the time that dad brought us to the bus station and we say goodbye to daddy right there and clip from before because my dad is wouldn't show up today that's why I filmed it before <laughs> <笑>媽媽呢媽媽聽都不得的<笑> 小乌龟吧。可以啊。行，谢谢你。I was able to win something. I got this turtle. Yeah。哎，哎，我拿了中欧你耶。哈哈哈。呃，一个新鲜冰淇淋。For the shopping video, I accidentally clicked the slow motion. So we basically ate ice cream, shop on the main street in Taishan, and also have a bubble tea in this store, which pretty tasty. Last but not least, we went to have dinner in my favorite childhood cafe or restaurant. The best cafe. Uh. Oh,